You just let off the pedals to grab that, grab that GoPro and giant. That's what I'm talking about right there, dude. <laughs> Love it, man. What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt, and I'm back with a really quick on the water report for you guys. Now, this is a bit different than our normal format. I was actually doing a kingfish trip from the kayak off the beach. So, this is a little bit different than my normal inshore fishing trip. But I uh, chartered a trip with the good folks at Sun Jammers in Panama City, and we got to send it off the beach for some kingfish and we actually had a really great day and I wanted to share these on the water highlights with you but most importantly I wanted to share with you how easy it is to find these spots with the new smart fishing spots app that we have as it is an absolute game changer for finding offshore structure and submerged reefs and wrecks uh, that make it really possible to find spots just like this. So uh, I want you to know that it's super easy to find the things you need to uh, be able to find these kinds of fish uh, in, in that deep water. Um, everything you need to do that is in smart fishing spots. So let's go ahead and check out this on the water footage right now. All right, Salt Strong family. So it was an early morning at the beach. I met my man, Trent from Sun Jammers at the beach and we uh, carted our kayaks all the way down to the water first thing that morning. It was an incoming tide and we were there first thing at about 6 a.m. So we were there at first light as you can see and it wasn't long before we got all our gear checked, made sure everything was strapped and ready to go and we sent it on a launch into the abyss. I got four. Yep, there we go. I gotta get them in the boat. There we go. Now we got our bait. Yeah, they're right here where I left them, 20 foot. <laughs> You're gonna catch them. These are the ones to catch. They're freaking solid. All right, y'all. So what we're doing now is I'm out here with my main man, Trent, from Sun Jammers, and we're trying to catch some bait right now. Uh, we're looking after some cigar minnows so that we can use the bait to get on some kingfish. That's the plan. Right now we got a few cigar minnows, but we're just trying to get as many as we can before we uh, go to the real fishing. So that's what we're doing right now. Hopefully we can find this school of cigar minnows. We already pulled a few out of it, but we're looking for it again so that we can get a few more. God. You see, that, one, that felt different than a cigar minnow, man. Like a I'm telling you. People, they're missing out on the cigar. They are missing out on the sabiki game. If y'all are not out here sabiki rigging off the beach, you are missing <laughs> out in life. Pound for pound. Pound for pound? <laughs> cigar minnows are jumping. I've never had a fish like that so small violently try and snatch a rod we go through 10 cigar minnows, we'll have i know i mean i'm already having a blast you know <laughs> sabiki and cigar minnows y'all are sleeping on this if y'all aren't doing this y'all are missing out oh big old pod up under me big big bait pod oh yep there we go i just said yeah that feels like more than one too Oh, he's got three. I told you. It was a big pot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. <laughs> Don't move, dude. No. Oh. There you go. There's more up under me, though. It's always better to have more bait than not enough. A whole bunch of them underneath us. We're going to throw all the bait. Yep, there. We're already back. I think I'm fully loaded. <laughs> yeah, I'm fully loaded. I had five. I had five. <laughs> sabiki blitz. <laughs> if y'all aren't sabiki and out here, what are you doing with your life? 
once we got enough cigar minnows in our live well, we felt like we were ready to go ahead and start trolling. So that's what we did. We went ahead and got our kingfish rigs ready and set up. Okay. So we went ahead and got pointed east. Once we got pointed the direction we were ready to head, we went ahead and dropped our baits down and let out about a hundred yards of line. I made sure to loosen my drag right before I put the rod in the rod holder. That way when I would get a bite, it wouldn't snatch the rod out of the holder. All right, Salt Strong family. So what we're doing is we got these cigar minnows rigged up and they're trolling behind us. And we're just trolling these cigar minnows on these uh, kingfish rigs. And we're just looking for fish right now. So we're just going to cover some ground and we'll be back in a minute. Fish bump. Bam. It wasn't long. After only about 10 minutes, I got the first bite. But truthfully, I didn't even know until after he'd been at my bait for quite a minute. I'm on. We're on. Huh? No. Whoa! Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness, dude. It's a king. Just a good one. I mean, it's not. Not no tournament winner. Targeted species. Yeah, this floating grass out here, I saw it and I was like, I bet they'll be. He's right. Break off your first king on the bottom of my guide. <laughs> Worst guide ever. <laughs> Tip your guide. I put him in the boat, but I know what he's going to do as soon as I do if I don't have a gaff in him. Come here, boom, boom. Oh. There we go, y'all. Yep, there he goes. I knew he was going to do it. I didn't want him to do it inside the boat, though. Stop, stop, stop. Don't do it. Crossed it. Trouble. Vicious. But you got to with these guys. That's right. right. Yeah, let me not flip my finger in there. Smart. Don't give me too much credit, Mo. Let's not say <laughs> something we can't take back, okay? But I will say this. <laughs> this is epic, dude. Nice. Baggy yes, sir. <laughs> Sweet, brother. It's 24 to the fourth. Oh, definitely. Definitely. No doubt. Get an open office. There. there. That's work, dude. The first king, right? Yes, sir. Off the beach. In the kayak. Nah. That was, I actually just a second earlier got done talking about what we were doing <laughs> that was epic though sweet bro that's what it's about all right so i got i got i got that one off of me we can go for the big one now yeah. right. we, didn't get skunked. we did not get skunked buddy that made the whole six hour trip from orlando worth it all right salt strong let me just show you guys how we're rigging these up we have these cigar minnows with this kingfish rig and we're putting one through the nose another treble there in the center in the center of the belly 
and another one positioned further down towards the tail end so that when we do get a bite we got plenty of hooks to go in their face and bring us in another mondo mondo king i'm sick bro Woo! let's go go a little bit deeper get that rooster fish <laughs> yeah, all the way down to panama <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. By this point, we'd been trolling again for a while, so we wanted to go ahead and check our baits just to make sure that they were still doing okay on our hooks and make sure that nothing had fouled up and we were still running well. He's kicking. Yeah. Surprising. Oh no. <laughs> At all. We went ahead and got our baits dropped back down. We got our troll going again, and then it was time to have a little snack. It had been a long morning already, and we were uh, had been doing nothing but pedaling, so we needed to take some time to eat while we kept moving. But it wasn't long before I got my next bite, but it happens in a way that it always happens. I don't have time to swap cameras, or I mean batteries. Huh? Right when I go to swap batteries. I got the GoPro in my seat to put it down so I don't lose it over the side. Uh, feels better than the last one. Yep, definitely better than the last one. Oh. Oh man, it's definitely a better fish. Man, pulling up a fish from 50 feet and 100 yards back, that's different. Yep, that's what I was waiting for. There's one knot. All right, we found leader. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. This thing is Mondo, bro. Oh, wrong way, boom, boom. Got him. <laughs> I love it, bro. Let's go. Let me go ahead and hook him to my boat and then get my camera put back. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. I don't want us to get stuck in something nasty, brother. That's a grown one right there. Not just targeted species, that's targeted fish. You just let off the pedals to grab that, grab that GoPro. That's what I'm talking about right there, dude. <laughs> Love it, man. Woo! What a tank, dude. Whew. What a beast. Giant. That's what we were looking for, ain't it? That's what we were looking for. Woo! Whew. Bubba, <laughs> you feed a family at 12, son. Golly at those teeth. Good Lord. No, do not stick your hands in one of these fish mouth. If you value your digits. Golly, what a hook set. I was worried I didn't have him at first, but when he got up under me, I gave him a good tug and he like, I knew I got him in. Dude, God. Whew. there's one set of hooks. Oh, all of that just came out of his mouth. 
he was not going anywhere. All right. Freaking awesome, dude. Let's go, brother. That's why we do what we do right there, yeah. Bubba. Perfect, perfect. Bam. Yeah, With the assist. You know you go yeah, when he don't fit. Sweet, brother. Rock that, man. Yes! Woo! That was epic, bro. That's what we showed up for right there, Bubba. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. I love it. Yeah, I love it when a plan comes together, Bubba. And you kept saying, does that feel like a better one? I was like, yeah. Unless he's hooked in the side of the face, it's definitely a better one. He stayed down though, like he he just came with me until he got under me, and that was when he started circling. Oh golly, so cool, man! I need a bath. I love it, bro. Yes, man. Woo, bro. That was absolutely. That was epic. Beautiful green water. That's right, Emerald Coast. This is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Well, y'all, this right here is the moment of truth. This is the moment we've all been waiting on and I've been dreading, because now we're gonna come back into the beach and I'm gonna watch Trent see how he does it. And I'm gonna come in right behind him all smooth like. Trent's getting ready. Oh! He almost ate it. I was close, dude. Let's see if Papa can eat it. Let's go. That was the one I needed right there. That's gonna be the one that hurts me. Okay, perfect dude, perfect landing. Woo! Oh! Ah! Flooded it. There might be a little bit of water in that boat. That was a lot smoother than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was super cool coming in though. That was the end of our beach kingfish trip. And then we made the very, very long hike back to the vehicles. Uh, and I can say that I was not prepared for that at all. But I do want to say a huge thank you to Trent at Sun Jammers in Panama City. Uh, for not only allowing me to charter that trip with him, but just taking me out there and having a really great time and just showing uh, not just me, but all of us how easy it is to be able to get out there on the beach and find fish like this using smart fishing spots and the tools that are available to us in the Salt Strong Insider community. I'm not built for this. <laughs> I need a boat ramp. <laughs> So again, I want to remind you that this is super easy uh, with the ability to find these types of locations with Smart Fishing Spots app. It's a whole lot easier than you think. Um, I thought this was going to be a lot more work than it was, but it was super easy. Uh, it was no more difficult than a normal fishing trip. It was just a little bit different than what I'm normally used to. But uh, it's it's super easy if you live in uh, these coastal areas like this where you have solid beach access. This really isn't a whole lot harder than you may be thinking. So again, I want to thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments or places like this that you think that I should try out uh, in the future, uh, if this was in Panama City Beach, if you have other near shore spots that you think I could try out in the kayak, I'd love to hear them. So leave those suggestions for me down in the comment section and I'll definitely be sure to get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.
And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club in America. We actually guarantee to help you find and catch more fish, save money on tackle, make friends while doing it, or it's free. So we hope to see you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks for watching.